Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create an interleaving text effect using PhotoP. So I have done it here, and I've done it here, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to open up that picture, file open, find that image, here it is. The first thing I'm going to do is go to layer, duplicate layer, and now over here in my layers panel you'll see I've got two exact copies of the same image. I'm then going to click on the type tool down the left hand side and I'm going to type on my text. So I've got the word snow, highlight that. No, actually I think that's probably the right size. I'm going to use my move tool and position it where I want it to be. So I'm going to position it maybe a little bit up there so I can get a little bit of an effect going on with these, the point of that tree, and um, which I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, so the next thing you need to do, back over here in the layers panel, I'm going to position that text like a bit of a, like a text sandwich in between those two image layers and then on the top image I'm going to make sure I click on that layer and I'm going to go down here to the bottom um, of this layers panel and you can see that if I put my cursor over that that is an, a, a raster mask so I'm going to click on that so I now have a raster mask to that image layer make sure that the actual mask is selected not the image so I'm cl clicking on the mask and then I'm going to use the paintbrush tool, which is down this side, to paint areas on the picture that I want to show through. I want to show through what's underneath, and what's underneath is the text layer. Okay? How this is different to using the eraser tool to delete parts of the image is that this is non-destructive. What you are what you are removing is still there, it's just hidden, and you can get it back again later on if you want to make changes. Okay, so this is why we use a mask and not an eraser to do this particular task. I'm just going to go up here to this opacity here and I'm going to drag that down a little bit so that you can see underneath. So opacity makes it a little bit transparent and I can see what's underneath and what's underneath is the text layer. Now that's important because I just want to know where it is for me to make those um, parts of it visible that I want to make visible. Right, I'm going to zoom in using the zoom tool to maybe this part here, use the little hand tool to position it and I'm going to now paint the areas that I want to show through. So I'm using the brush tool and down here I need to make sure, oops, I need to make sure that the black is at the top. So there's two little arrows, if you click on it, it swaps the black and the white over. So I'm going to make sure the black is at the top and then I'm going to paint on parts of the image where I want the text to shine through. So can you see that when I draw over it, you don't have to be super super um, careful about where you paint. In fact, if you paint over too much, this is where the mask is important. I can now swap over the colours, so I now have the white, and I can get back that little bit there. I'm going to make that a bit smaller so I can get some minute detail. I can get back that point of that tree, swap over the colour again, make a little, slight little adjustment to that bit there okay so it's a bit like it's a bit like a, an eraser that has a back button if you like so here I am rub that out okay I've gone over that bit again a bit too much so I'm going to swap it over and I'm going to colour in that bit there and then swap it back again get rid of that bit there and I'm going to keep doing that. So I'm going to speed up this process now so you can see how I work my way along the letters. Okay, the final thing is to raise the opacity right back up again, okay, so that you can get rid of the, the last remaining part of those letters. And you can see there the effect of having the text behind, in front of that bit there, behind that bit, behind that bit. In fact, I'm going to do a little bit more on this one and make that part of the S go in front of the tree. There we go. And that's how you create interleaving text effects using PhotoP. Have fun!